Shut up. I'm real quick. That's the man on Settle down, it's just week three. Baby, we here to stay. Welcome back to another episode of Broken Play, hosted by me. Man, it feel good to say it three times in a row, man. How y'all feel? We, we had a lot of good games this weekend. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, I told you. I said whoever won game five with that Warriors Kings was going to win the series. Matter of fact, whoever win game five going to win it. That, that, like, truth be told. Because the momentum, right now the Warriors got all the momentum. But if the Kings could fight right here, then they good. Bruh. It's all about momentum. And, and, and speaking of momentum, LeBron put his whole foot in the Grizzlies' ass. Bro, ain't no way you lose by 40. Ever. <clears throat> Before I lose by 40, I'm walking my ass off the court. Soon as I see it 38, 37, before somebody could shoot a three or do a layup, I'm walking to the locker room. Nigga, y'all got beat by 40. It was 37 when I was out there. But that's what... I don't know who to blame. But I will say this. I said Dylan Brooks was going to find his way out the damn league. And what happened? Grizzlies talking about they not going to resign the boy. Bro, one bad series? And, and this is the thing. Before that, I think Brooks was having a straight little year. Now, come next year, he might be a co-host on Broken Play. You go from checking one of the best players of all time to sitting next to an eighth grade small forward who averaged four points and seven rebounds and 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 points zero assists. I was a man, I was a dog on them rebounds, that. <laughs> it's just like my passing was off a little bit. I, I was before my time, I was more like Rondo. Before Rondo started, they, he was accepted with it, but you know how that be. The people ask, can LeBron be the best player in this series? Easily. But it's not about him. It's not about him or Curry being the best player this series. It's about the role players. I need D'Angelo Russell to step up this series. Dennis Schroeder, I need you to step up. Dennis Schroeder, show them. You ain't as dumb as we think you are. <laughs> the Lakers offered you. How much they offered him? 100, 100 a bag. A they offered bag. him 100 M. He said no. And went and got 5 million with the Boston Celtics. <laughs> go show them. Go show them you ain't that dumb. <laughs> hey, man, that about one of the, speaking of being your own agent, boy, I don't know what his agent doing now. But I seen him at the Smoothie King the other day. <laughs> I told him, I said, man, you messed up with Schroeder then. He said, hell yeah. <laughs> we were talking about the Warriors and the Kings. Steph had 50. And this ain't no roundup. Steph had 50 in a game seven. But that's going to make Fox come back even harder. Game seven? 50? That's the most ever in a game seven. Most ever? By anybody? By anybody. Curry be silently breaking records, bro. Silently. I know he do all them threes and stuff like, but 50 in a game seven? Even LeBron? Even LeBron. Dang, that's tough. Man, they say, um, they say Curry versus LeBron. A lot of people are down the Lakers. I'm not betting against LeBron. I refuse. And you know why? Because I think he got better role players this time. If Anthony Davis stay healthy, 
You don't think so? It's a big. That's, I feel like that's a that's a big if. Every every time you see him fall, he grabbing something. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's scary. You gotta keep him away from Draymond. Keep who away from Draymond? AD. Now, if Draymond <laughs> kick him like he kicked Sabonis, that's gonna be a career ending injury. <laughs> <laughs> And he stump AD like he did Sabonis. And speaking of Sabonis, Sabonis is who I told y'all he was. Garbage bastard. <laughs> I told you when the game on the line. Talking about Sabonis a walking double double. If you seven foot, you supposed to get 10 rebounds. That don't impress me. That garbage bastard, man. I feel sorry for Fox and Monk because... Fox didn't have a great game seven, but you played well enough them first six games. Sometimes that game seven, you, you can't create experience, and you can't teach that. You got to learn that. So now he see. If anybody should be out the league, it shouldn't just be Dylan Brooks. Take Sabonis with you. <laughs> I do not like Sabonis, and I want to make that clear. Bruh, Looney was out there just – Treating him like a rag dog. Man, Looney. Man, Looney looked at like. I was talking. Now, these are the words from Fly. And he exaggerated. He said Looney looked at like Shaq. Now, that was far fetched. Now, that's, that's, that's far fetched. That's wild. That's wild. But he owned to something. <laughs> yeah, Looney was looking good out there, bro. Yeah, 21 rebounds, 11 points, uh, 4 for 5 from the field. 21 rebound? 21. How many Sabonis had? Eight. And y'all keep talking about Sabonis <laughs> like that. No, he didn't have – if he had eight, no, you can't have a double-double. Unless he had ten turnovers. 22 points, eight rebounds, seven assists for Sabonis. That's I don't – It's a solid game. No, it's for who? Sabonis. The ball shouldn't be in your hand that much. And we losing. Oh, man, I don't even want to talk about that bastard. <laughs> Man, James Harden went the hell off last night. We, I don't know when this coming out. So if it come out after they play game two and he have a bad game, I was talking about game one. <laughs> James Harden hit them folk for what? He had 50? 45. That's 50! <laughs> <laughs> talking about 45. Y'all ain't never had math class. You round up to the nearest 10. That boy gave them folk 50. Man, and I was one, let me admit, to say, yeah, James Harden, he ain't got it no more. But now I see. You play. Now, it's it, it just like if you work in a regular job. You going to BS. Then when you see the supervisor, you might move a little faster. You are playing the Boston Celtics. This is primetime television. Didn't nobody watch when y'all played the Nets. You probably had 50 then, but don't nobody see it. You were playing the Celtics. Game one and be hurt. All eyes on you, Harden. You can't BS. He gave, he, man, I don't know how much he getting paid, but he earned his money yesterday. Since the last time. The, Haw the Hawks did win in Boston. So, hey, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I, I know when to say I was wrong. But that was just some Vegas type shit. <laughs> that had nothing, that's bigger than me. Cause ain't no way Murray didn't play. They go up to, hey, Trey Young. All them people who voted Trey Young overrated. You look like a damn fool. Trey Young, hey, he's like that. I wanna, I wanna just have a like that list of players. Trey Young would be on there. You know my boy Ant-Man will be on there. Anthony Elves, he just in the wrong situation. Rudy Gobert say he going to come back way stronger <laughs> next year. No the hell you not. And that's what players got to do. That's why they drug testing y'all so much. Stop tweeting stuff. If I'm the commissioner and I read Rudy Gobert say I'm coming back twice as better next year and stronger and healthier. I'm sending them to your house to drug test you. Cause you should have did that 10 years ago. You wait till you you wait till you get beat by the nuggets. 
You should have did that when you got traded from uh, Utah. Tell me you going to come back strong. I do not like Gobert, Sabonis. And who else my players I don't like? Oh, I said a lot about him. Harrison Barnes. I was right about everything I said about your sorry ass. Horrible. Horrible game. What was the stat line, Marcel? Harrison Barnes. That last game, game seven. Game and you the veteran on the team. We looking at you. They keep talking about, yeah, he been in game seven with the Warriors. Man, that went his game sevens. Get, get, guess how many points he had, bro. Man, six. Four. Close. Oh, my. <laughs> I gave you two more, you sorry, bastard. <laughs> One for four from the field, 0 for two from three, four points in 14 minutes. That's that's the Sacramento Kings veteran player right there. What's up? What's up? This is Nav. Shout out to Prize Picks. We got a lot of good series coming up. Hey, first and foremost, Lakers versus the Warriors. Take LeBron for the over in the points. Listen to me. Points or assists. LeBron is finna go crazy. He finna make you put some respect on his name. Take Looney and rebound. Looney had about 50 rebounds the other night. I feel like he gonna get the rebounds. He just don't know how to do with it when he get it. Heats versus the Knicks. Jimmy, playoff buck. Jimmy Buckets. Man, take him to over in points, rebounds, and assists. I don't know what he gonna do sometime. But I know when they add it all up together, it be over. Kyle Lowry, he had a great game, game one. Take him under on anything. Except turnovers. <laughs> nah, it's some good games coming up, man. Make sure you tune in to Prize Picks. Make sure you, you use our promo code. Get the money. If you put up $100, they going to match your $100. Tell me any app that's doing this. Nobody but Prize Picks. If you put in $50, they're going to match your $50. Sign up for Prize Picks. Use our promo code. Man, show Prize Picks some love. And win some money. It ain't, I never seen nobody beg somebody to come get some money. It's easy money. All you got to do is watch the games, watch the sports. Sun's down 0 2. I'm not going to count them out till I see game three. I got to see game three. I don't never want to count a team out. Because we done seen teams come back from 0-2. Plenty of time. She, we just saw the Warriors do it. They was down 0-2. But this going to make the difference. When you go home, how you feel in Phoenix? Booker been playing lights out. Kevin Durant, I think they ain't had the time to jail with the team yet. And they don't have no bench. They don't have no bench at deep. all. Denver's deep. That's that's the problem. Denver that deep the as hell. Got to run into. And we was just in Denver. I saw Jokic. I said, "Nigga, come play me." <laughs> I asked him, "Marcel, I said, come play me one on one." Tell me I got a playoff game tomorrow. I said, "All right, take your scare ass on." I just want to see if he like that. Cause I see what he do on the court. Don't get me wrong. He make it look good, but I just feel like I can stop. Man, I block a few of them shots. He moves up. Like, man, give me that rock. I'm going the other way. <laughs> Quick. They said uh, Snoop Dogg enters bid for NHL team. Ottawa Senators. How do you say Ottawa? Ottawa Senators. Yeah. yeah the Canadian team. That, Snoop, your first hockey team, you going to go to Canada and get it? <laughs> no, nah, I don't like that. They said, what would hockey be like if black people took it over? Uh, that's a, that's a great question. I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's more black players now that I've seen in working, working in hockey, but I don't think we're nowhere near close to taking it over. Nah. Nah, I don't. I wouldn't want to see that many black people out there on that hockey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, man, you hit one of them black people wrong with that hockey, hockey stick. Oh, man. Let my family be there. <laughs> you don't hit me with a hockey stick? Oh, cuz them coming out the stand. <laughs> over the glass. Yeah, over the glass. No, you hit cuz with a hockey stick. It's one thing to fight. 
They gonna have that scrap in them. I know because <laughs> at them hockey games, they probably don't even search them and stuff because ain't too many black people coming. <laughs> we go to football games and basketball games, you would think you finna get on the airplane. Grabbing all the, hey, what's that? Boxers. Hey, you talking about, <laughs> you, supposed to, <laughs> you supposed to come here free balling? I, I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not mad at the Falcons pick. By John Robinson from Texas. Yeah, he, he's a good running back. I'm not mad at it. I'm not happy. That's, that's my whole state of the Falcons. I'm never mad or happy. <laughs> I stay out their business and let them stay out mine. And the only reason because you never know what Falcons team you got until week eight. Because the Falcons will come out with a team you thought went good and be 6-0. Come, because they by week could be week seven. Week eight, they'll lose 15 straight games. <laughs> and it ain't even that many games left. They'll lose the bye week because you ain't even know they played. In the locker room, they'll lose. So you just don't never know what Falcons think. We got to see the identity of the team, though. I like their receiving core, though. They got all tall receivers. They've been adding pieces on defense. So we just got to wait and see. So I want to see what Robinson do, but I feel like they could have, bro. I just wish they could have got that boy Lamar, who just got that bag. <laughs> talk to him. Everybody talk crazy. You shouldn't let your mama be the eight. Why? I told you, black women get the money. She came there with a different approach. So you don't let this other boy get all this money, and my son been out here playing his ass off. Oh, he ain't coming back here no more. I know that's how she told the owner. Yeah, oh, he ain't coming back here no more. So that when the coach and them got on, they, they fumbling. Well, well, well Miss Jackson, what can we do? It was more than you gave that lad, boy. <laughs> you say you got money, though. Show me. And they did it. So shout out to Lamar. Lamar, uh... Do the right thing with the money, man. Trick it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we'll be back. We're going to get into some highlights and some lowlights. Prize pick of the week. We got some guests coming in. So, man, make sure you tune in. Coming back for a broken play. <laughs> man, we be reading the comments and stuff. Let me, let me explain this because everybody got it twisted what I said wrong, which I wasn't wrong. They said, I'm sleeping on that liver shot. That, that wasn't just no liver shot. No. Yes, I will fall from a liver shot. You will fall from a liver shot. But if you've been talking for a month how you was going to beat Tank, no, you shouldn't fall from a liver shot. And I know it was nothing but, nobody but you, Ryan Garcia, using a fake page to come <laughs> and try to discredit <laughs> my journalism. <laughs> well, listen here, buddy. <laughs> Yo, puss ass out to come in. <laughs> This ain't that type of sports show. We gonna go back and forth now. You saw what Tank did to you? All right, keep on. You don't want it with me, partner. <laughs> I seen y'all worried and discouraged when they took our, they took our episode down off YouTube. We gotta talk about it. Man, they took it down because I put up Garcia getting his ass knocked out. They let all the other clips ride. That's how I know Garcia hating on my show. I told you Tank was going to beat your ass. Don't come hating on broken play. I said, and let me, <coughs> hold up, I'm finna clear, I'm finna clear all the, the speculations. That's what this show for. We ain't got no, we ain't got no, we ain't got to stick to no script. I said, by the seventh round, he was going to knock his ass out. It was in the seventh round. The seventh round not over. <laughs> so don't never come to me like, now nah, you was almost, no, I wasn't no, I, I was right. <laughs> it was still in the seventh round with minutes left. So he got knocked out before the seventh was over. But yeah, so we gotta be careful when we put boxing clips up, especially when somebody get their ass knocked out because then they go flagging it. Other than that, 
Appreciate y'all still support. Both episodes. This is just week two. Week two. This week three when it's coming out. Ain't no telling when it's going to come out, though. But for the first two weeks, we already over 100,000 views. Clap it up for that. If we gonna if we gonna talk about highlights, let's talk about us first. Then talk, these, these motherfuckers getting millions. We could talk about them anytime. Let's talk about these niggas. Let's talk about the niggas getting thousands. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, you remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get the extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The best part, it's all done online, so nobody in your business. You ain't got to worry about no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations that you don't want to tell nobody, you know, get too personal and no waiting in line at the pharmacy because they hold the medicine right up. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex because these girls be talking about you. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and then do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85 Sports at checkout. Just pay $5 for the shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 sports to receive your first month free. And ladies, start buying it for these men if they don't want to, if they ain't so embarrassed, buy it for them. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> You can tell when folk want to raise. Welcome back to Broken Play. <laughs> hey, let's get into these highlights, man. Lakers versus Warriors. Both of them ended the series out in rare form. Warriors ended on a good note, beat the hell out the Kings in the game seven. You know, it was, it was close that first half. It was. Yep. The Kings actually was up the first two quarters. Yep. Going to halftime, you up. And I felt like that's when Draymond Green got in that locker room and started jacking motherfuckers up. No, Draymond said it was Steph who turned people yeah. up. Steph yeah. He on said the, Steph did it? Steph turned people up on He said Bruh, it on his podcast. That's Draymond playing mind games. <laughs> he tired of looking like the villain. I feel like this some Wayne Brady, Dave Chappelle type thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, make Steph seem like the bad guy. It was Steph walk up, man, Steph, get the hell out of my face, man. But no, nah, Steph, Draymond probably went in Steph's face, and Steph probably got the other team around. Because Steph came out there and went ballistic. The Lakers went ballistic. Now, this series, a lot of people, I feel like, I feel like this is for all of it. Because LeBron and Curry, they both even with rings, right? 4-4. Four, four. They 4-4. Four and 4 Four apiece. Everybody want to put Curry right there with LeBron, Kobe, and Mike. If Curry beat the Lakers this series and go on and get that fifth ring, I have no choice. I have no choice but to say LeBron's still better. I don't give a damn Aww. what he do. <laughs> I don't give a damn. The man 38. If he beat you, Curry, that show eat why he the greatest. <laughs> but no, nah, this is gonna be a good series. I feel like this is gonna be the most viewed series of all time. Hell yeah. Cause I don't like how the finals might be shaping up. Yeah, 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 you're right. That's right. People getting hurt. I don't, hey. And B need to come back. Cause I don't want to see Philly beat Boston, and they playing. I don't. Oh my God! I don't want to see no Philly versus Miami, Ugh. or no Philly versus New. I don't want to. I don't want to see nobody at that Miami New York series. <laughs> Speaking of Miami and New York, 
Julius Randle hurt. Yeah, he's been out for the past like two games. I yeah, think. I don't watch the Knicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch teams I think that's finna go get a ring. The Knicks, I knew they weren't finna do nothing. <laughs> they say it's Steph capable of being top five all the time. Now that I could agree on easily. It's a case for it. There's a big case for it. Yeah. You know, you, when you hear best point guard of all time, you're going to get Magic, Magic Isaiah. Those are I, feel like Isaiah. Isaiah yeah, yeah, I, I feel like he's better than Isaiah. Isaiah Thomas? Yeah, I feel like he's better than Isaiah. Magic, I just, bro, you know what? Don't get me wrong. Like, I, none of us was around to watch Magic when he was playing. But you know what helped? Watching that Showtime series. Winning time, yeah. Winning time. Yeah. And they not paying me for this plug. But that was a good show. And it showed how Magic elevated the NBA. The passes he was doing. <laughs> yeah. I, doing that. <laughs> White people didn't even know he was doing at the time. But like, how that nigga do that? <laughs> he he changed the game and made it fit for him. So I, I do have Magic up there, but Curry, bro. But you can say the same. Curry changed the game as well. He elevated Facts. the game in the sense of, you know, the three-point ball. So Yeah, because then, bro, if somebody would have came past half court and threw, that th threw the ball up for a three-point, they would have been sitting right next to their coach. Curry made that Facts. acceptable. Facts. Curry don't look at no shot clock. Curry just come down, shoot it, and go the other way. Bro, I seen Curry the last game dribble around. They couldn't stop him. He just threw the ball up and he went in. I said, bro. <laughs> and, and it was a foul, too. And it was a, hey, Marcel, bro, I'm competitive. I'm not no sore loser. I just feel like sometimes somebody got to get some hands put on them. Because, bro, you disrespecting me now. I can't check that. Like, as a coach, what you tell your player? Hey, look, look what he, nigga, you go out there and check him. It's Curry. Of course he top five. That ain't even in, in – I don't feel like we even got to debate that. He top five for sure. Now, he ain't got to do nothing else. Top five. And he probably is the best point guard. Hey, Jokic. Jokic is a highlight. No matter how I feel about him, I never let my opinions dictate facts. The man is up 2-0 and on the Suns. He closed out. On the Timberwolves. He, he sent my boy Ant-Man home. Now, I ain't going to say he sent Ant-Man home. He sent the Timberwolves home. Because Ant-Man did what he was supposed to do. And that's why Ant-Man going to come on the show. Because he know we love him here at Broken Play. <laughs> Fact. Oh, my God. Let's get into some low lights. Damn, Aiton. DeAndre Aiton, bruh. You ever seen, you know how when you was like in school or just anywhere, like, man, he too big for that. That's how I feel about when I watch Aiden play. Bro, what are you doing? Your skill set, like you a great player. Right. Then they pulled up a uh, clip of him dancing with another Orlando Magic player. See, bro, if I draft the center, that's the that's what I'm asking before I draft. Do you dance? <laughs> if you dance, I don't want you on my damn team. I need a mean center, unless you Shaq. Now Shaq, but Shaq could do the shit and do stuff like that when he used to dunk on somebody. I don't need you knowing how to do all the TikToks. Joke, hey, hey, I talk a lot of shit about Jokic, but Jokic don't damn dance. That's why he out there balling on everybody. Because y'all too busy learning TikToks. We done figured it out, Thad. Jokic don't damn dance. Do Embiid dance? Yes. Stop! <laughs> Wondering why you ain't won no MVP, you dancing. MVP don't dance? <laughs> This might be the low light of the week. Malcolm. I always say his last name wrong. Malcolm. Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon. Yep. 
Bro, that was a crucial turnover at the end of the game. He lost the game. See, and I feel like that's what players got to start just being honest. Don't ask me in no press conference what happened. Shit, we were up. I don't know what Malcolm did when he threw, man, he threw the ball. He, he threw the game away. I guess he bet it against us. <laughs> Cause he got, bro, Tyrese Max had a clip. I'm like, damn. That don't take away from what James Harden did, though. But Malcolm, you really gave them that game. They said Derek White had 27 minutes and four points. That is a low light for him. Derek White ain't had a good game since he told me no comment. Put the clip in here for this week. Because we're going to keep putting it out until you have a good game. I said, I didn't say I said it about your hairline. I said, did you hear what Charles Barkley and Shaq said? So are you familiar with, uh, did you see when Shaq and Charles were making jokes? Did you see that? <laughs> what, you, what you think about that? I got no comment. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Have a good game, dude. I didn't even say what they said. I said, did you uh, hear the comments from Charles? I'm being a professional reporter like I've been, been doing for the last three weeks. You know I just started. Yeah. I asked him a serious <laughs> question. He's talking about no comment and walk, do yeah. Oh, boy, you don't know who you messing with. <laughs> you do wrong by me, boy, you won't have another good game. <laughs> and what have he done? Nothing. 27 minutes, four, boy, you're going to have another bad game until you apologize. I must say this. A lot of people been saying they've been winning money by watching the show. Put your pics in the comments. Let us know. We're going to turn this into like a cult. We stick together, get money together. We're going to have broken play sections in the club. <laughs> And you know when they be bringing the bottles out in the sign, say it gonna say broken play. All of us in there together, three, four sections a piece, cause we got the right picks with prize picks. Get on prize picks. This ain't even the ad yet. Get on prize picks. My buddy just won five thou wow Sunday. I got the screenshot in my phone. He don't withdrew his money. Because I helped him do it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some low lights and highlights. We're going to get into the prize pick of the week. We're going to see who was right or wrong. I must say, that about time. We're going we to get into it. Until, until we come back, man, let's take a uh, quick commercial break from our sponsors. We ain't got number three on, but we're going to take a qu quick commercial break. Hey, man, it's your boy Money Bad Mafia, man. Mr. Don't forget to tip the bartender himself. Baltimore, Maryland, I will be out there May 4th. I'm bringing all the funny. I'm going to tell you like this. If you ain't got no tootin' pootin' the pootin' scoot, you ain't got no scootin' boots. We on the avenue. Pull up, man. Money back. And just like that, this is one of my favorite segments of the whole show. Well, not this week. I ain't going to lie. I ain't used to this. Prize picks of the week. Everybody hit except me. You hate to uh, So look, Dom had Andrew Wiggins over 17 and a half. He went for 20. That was a great pick. That was a great pick. Great pick, Dom. Dad had Clay Thompson over 21 and a half. He go for 25. Great pick. Good pick. Good pick, Dad. Marcel had Drew Holiday fantasy points 36. And he got 36. That ain't no push. That's a push. So what, what, what do you mean? Like? Oh, it ain't no what it means. You, <laughs> you lost too. That's not a loss. <laughs> you ain't win. So that's like 1-0-1 one, oh, one or something? Uh, yeah, you 1-0-1. You were, yeah, you won zero and one. I had Donovan Mitchell over 29, and this bastard had 28. <laughs> the only thing that I respect about Donovan Mitchell, he shot that motherfucker 172 times. He, hey, that's how you go out. If I'm going to lose, I'm going out soon. Right. You didn't hit. You ain't hit nothing. But you went out like you was supposed to. Now, you know what? We're going to give you that win, Marcel. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, because we ain't going to do no time. That gives us too much calculation. 
<laughs> and we ain't finna turn this shit into algebra. <laughs> so keep the math simple. Well, we ain't gotta do no percentages and stuff. So week three. Now this what this what I like. Cause right now, Marcel in the lead. Can you say well, I can hear you. Can you say that again? No, dumb, then you hit week one too? Nah. Damn, so Marcel the only person in the league. Cause was, Marco, he ain't bet last week. It was good. Well, he ain't have a pick last week. <laughs> All right, Marcel, you two and oh. So you start off with the first pick. Um it's it's, it's tough. Um I'm I'm leaning. Uh, Gate Vincent, 13 and a half over. Uh, it might not be a Jimmy Butler tonight, but um, I'm going to go Jalen Brunson for a 25. So 24 and a half over. Jalen Brunson over. Man, I was hoping you took Gabe Vincent. I was going to say, yep, he's going to get his first loss. <laughs> Who you got, Thad? It's on you. You take Jalen Brunson. Brunson. Now he want to copy it. Now he, Marcel 2 and 0. Oh, now he want to follow with everything Marcel do. Nah, I ain't going to follow him. All right, what you got? I'm about to go with the King. I'm about to take LeBron James over 26 and a half. I like, hey, I like that pick. Yeah. He about I like to play Steph. He's going to be different this series. Yeah. And who going to stop him from getting to the cup? Draymond. No. And who? And that Lee Anthony, that Lee Anthony Davis. You think Looney finna do what he did to the weak ass Sabonis? Oh, no. This AD. This AD off Nitron. All right, Dom. Who you got? I'm going to go Derek White. Over 12 and a half. Dom is going with the ops. <laughs> Somebody who was an advocate op on the show. I feel so like he's going to hit it. He had four last night. So. Yeah, Dom with another loss. <laughs> nah, I'm calling it. He going to hit it. I'm staying with that same team, the Boston Celtics. I'm going. With, hey, you know what messed me up? I stopped keeping in Atlanta. The first week I went Anthony Edwards, he was a lock. The second week I said Anthony Edwards, but I went with Donovan Mitchell. This week, I am saying somebody from Atlanta. Jalen Brown, 24 and a half. Count it. It's a tough one, man. Because I had, I had Jalen Brown the other night. He missed it by two points oh, over in points. That's all he need to hear. <laughs> that's all he need to hear. <laughs> He watched the show. Jalen Brown, 24 and a half. Easy. Marco, do you want to do a pick, bro? We still working on the budget. We got to pass a mic around the whole room. Shit, I'm going to go with that boy Jalen Brown, too. <laughs> That's the way you keep it at Atlanta. Marco, I think you messed me up last week. When, every time you bet with me, we win. But you ain't bet last week with me, and we messed up. So that's the prize picks of the week. I feel like a, a good safe, I will put LeBron with Jalen Brown. We not, no, no Derrick White. No Derrick White. I feel like KD is going to have a good next game. I don't care what. I will go with his fantasy score. Whatever it is, I'm taking the over I on like KD that. fantasy score. I like that. He's in Phoenix. He down 0-2, and KD watch everything. He see what everybody's saying. He going to make them pay. He's going to make them pay. So that's our prize picks of the week. Shout out to prize picks. Make sure you get on prize picks and win you some free money. They do not hold your money like these other apps. And I ain't just saying that. You want to you wanna do a pick? And hey, we got a we got a new contestant. Let's get her a pick. Let's get her a pick. Yeah. yeah. We gonna let everybody get some prize picks money. Okay, I like I don't even know anybody, so. Oh no, that's what we finna show you. Okay. Man, she probably finna pick who she like. <laughs> yeah, that's who she finna look right, at. I need to see more pictures. All right. Oh my God, <laughs> she ain't looked at nobody's stats. This is like everything is like speaking Spanish. Like I have no idea what's going on. See, and that's why women gonna start loving the show. This girl said I gave my boyfriend fifty dollars to put on a parlay. He ate her ass who? off the drum. <laughs> who um who made their pick, LeBron? Me. I'm calling. Okay. 
She go so she going with LeBron. So we got two. I like that pick too. But I just had to keep it at lunch. I got to stick, stick to my method. Stick to my method. Hey, when we get back, we got a special guest. Man, keep tuning in to Broken Play. Keep tuning in to Broken Play. We'll be right back. Yeah. And just like that, we're back. Broken Play, Broken Play. Yeah. Hey. We are blessed with two special guests today, man. We got NFL linebacker Darren Bates in the building, man. Done played with the Falcons, the Titans, the Rams. You done played with about all Raiders. of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got money with all these niggas. <laughs> Last but not least, entrepreneur, <coughs> rapper, comedian, actor. What, what you, you play football too? I directed the movie that they actually put you in. Oh, you know what you what was saying? a director. Yeah, let, let, let me not leave it off. I wrote it too. Writer. They tried to write you out, and I wrote you back in. You know what I'm saying? You, you a, can I put athlete on there? You, uh, ever, play, you ever play sports? I can put athlete? Oh, hell no. Oh, I, <laughs> last but not least, I Tip Aaron. I did play the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were locked down on the corner? Yeah, I had the corner locked. <laughs> Man, appreciate y'all joining me, man. Y'all, both of y'all, you were just playing with the Falcons recently. You a Falcons fan or you just, it was about the money? I mean, it was about, you know, being able to get to play again. You know, so after being with the Titans for a while, it was my ninth year. It was about the money. Nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> head coach Arthur Smith. He oh, yeah, okay, Memphis. okay. You know what I'm saying? I know his brother in high school playing on the same team. Then he was in Tennessee, you know what I'm saying, for a little That's minute. Tough. So then, you know, nigga trying to get back on that field, so boom, I got to take that. Right now. The head coach for the Falcon now, he from Memphis. Yeah. That's cold. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you, you yeah. rocking with him now. You know what that is, though? Nah, who? The only FedEx. For real? Yeah, Fred okay. Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that sound yeah. like something. Yeah. Oh, I ain't never know that. Yeah, yeah that yeah, sound yeah. like something. What kind of what kind of what kind of move we gonna be making, man? You know what I'm saying? For the next year or so to go and get us there. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't in the building no more. Yeah, you know? Well, damn, bro. That shit didn't do us I, 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 no I, good. Nah, yeah, I, I, I just in there because of the people. Like I said, Dean P's and that people that are from Tennessee. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why he signed all them niggas from the Titans. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, familiar, like, yeah, you're making them familiar, familiar now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get back in the building. But they building, you know what I'm saying? You can tell that they building. You ain't getting in trouble or nothing this year, did it, but... Nah. Oh, nah, okay. But I'm, I didn't move on from there. Oh, I was going to say, don't be talking uh, like y'all. Hey, they get getting to it. I, I, get, I didn't cross over. Bro. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm almost living different now. Okay. You know he, 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 done, he done told him about little fights. He done had his strip club and all after the games hey, man, and stuff. We don't talk about too much of that online, man. You know what I'm saying? It's public. It's public. Y'all done did it some bitches. I know how that is, but when everybody else get to talking about it, that's when them lawsuits <laughs> come. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. If don't nobody, you can whoop it in your ass. Don't nobody hear about it. You be cool. Then when they show it on TMZ, that when they gonna start sending that paperwork. You feel like you can get some money you out of it. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, that makes sense for sure. Speaking of football player, man, a lot of people didn't even know this. I, I, I do watch a lot of stuff. I had watched the Michael Vick story a long time ago. Man, he shouted you out and said when he was down bad, you gave him some money. You ain't never told people that, though. <laughs> nah, man. I would actually, coincidentally, he was coming home on the day I was turning myself in. And you still sent him the money? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's some G shit, bro. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't really nothing, it ain't nothing to broadcast or nothing to say. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you being a rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to put that in a lyric or something. Nah, <laughs> Gave your favorite quarterback some rights. <laughs> <laughs> it actually made me feel good to be able yeah. to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm just happy, I'm happy to see him. You know, you know, uh, live your life to the fullest after. Man, get back and get back you to pop. Absolutely. That made me mad with that. I just wish I would hit cousin, bro. <laughs> I know I would have took every what did the charge. Other cousin do though. Who? Like the other cousin. You know they got to have another yeah, cousin. Yeah, it's somebody that. Oh my you know god. You know what I'm saying? I just wonder. Somebody like, do their job. But the other cousin had to be like, bro, you know good and damn well. Man. You pulled the. I would have been there to judge would have got me up. Judge, it was all me. You think y'all, Atlanta, the Falcons would have got a Super Bowl if he would have been able to keep Absolutely. on playing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I guarantee it. Absolutely. Unequivocally, so I, I yeah. believe it. Hey, it was a different time with Vic during them times, yeah, though. Like, them Falcon games. Oh, man. 
Bro, watching Vic, like, it My dad, he had season tickets since I was little, but I, I could watch but it better. Had a dad? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't nigga had a dad? Hey, you talking about season tickets. <laughs> well, dad ain't never picked me up from school. Till when we, were, <laughs> I, we were watching the game from, man. nigga, it didn't seem like we were down. <laughs> man, God. Hey, 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 this was doing when times were good. The nigga was an owner operator for his truck. When the truck he got, got down, two <laughs> niggas got down. Damn, man. When the truck man. went down, when the truck went down, I'm nigga, gone, the season bro. ticket was gone. We were back to normal. <laughs> well, that but you been. still had a dad. Like, he didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? He ventured off a couple months. <laughs> and came back. <laughs> Reluctantly. <laughs> <laughs> we caught the nigga at the quick trip. <laughs> That nigga said, I thought y'all moved. I was like, oh, man. That <laughs> nigga said he wasn't feeling appreciated when he lost his job. Hell no, bro. Nah, man. But now nah, Vic, bro, was exciting to watch, though. Like, bro, that was a time, like, like a special player. Like, the, you felt like Vic was from Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like... Kind of like how, you know, it had to, how I imagine it would have felt to have AI at Philly. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like that. See that how Derrick Rose is to Memphis? Oh, yeah, because he yeah. from Memphis. Uh, in Chicago, Chicago, Chicago and Memphis, yeah, Chicago like and Memphis, that, like, yeah. yeah. But I'm talking about that one year, you, nigga, you took it to the National Championship. Oh, yeah, yeah for uh, University of Memphis, yeah. And Derrick watching that and missed the free throw. And Mario Chama, ugly ass, bust his mouth on the trail. Oh, he's still, man. Hey, that nigga, that nigga, he been God. talking professional all day. I've been watching it all. You know what I mean? Two down. I didn't even say ugly ass. He had been talking you, professional, bro. like, no, nah, you know, I was in the building. We'd been doing the P's and Q's, the tights ownership. <laughs> he started start talking about that Memphis game. Man, ugly ass. All that one free throw. <laughs> nah, Derrick Rose was gas, though. Nigga but shit, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Jamal Rat doing his thing. Oh, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Like, we we gon' man. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, got Jamal. Yeah, y'all yeah, got Jamal too much in the city, though. Y'all need to get him That is his generation, though. Cause Zebo you know, be been in the city. He, that nigga oh, yeah, yeah. in the living yeah. Memphis. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He a legend. Him, Mark, T.A., Tony Allen, you know what I'm saying? Conley. But bro, but they they the old they OGs though. It was a different type of time. Yeah, man. they moved. They knew how to put the basketball first. John Morant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Up with y'all though, man. You give a young nigga twenty two yeah. years old a hundred million. What the fuck you think he gonna do? And yeah. you know you the best damn one of the best hoopers in the league. Shit, shit. twenty two, you give me a hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> damn, one hundred million. Hey, listen. But to be honest with you though, just just you know, in all fairness. Uh, what did he do wrong? It's no, really, what did he do wrong? Professional sports, you just can't get at that. Why? What did he do because wrong? Because they looking at it as If it was a white boy that went out hunting and had a rifle, <laughs> would he be the same? Not, be the but same they don't way? look at it the same because they look at he going to do a sport. Oh, that's a sport. But he did the club, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's how you going to put it He could have been at a shooting range. <laughs> Who knows what <laughs> he ain't at? Oh, shooting range. Because they, they don't start working putting your shot. Working on your shot. <laughs> they don't what about the club though putting that shit out? I didn't oh, no. hear nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. I That's right. Like, I mean, I mean, yeah, clubs ain't supposed to do that. Though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're not supposed to put that footage out. out. But, 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 but so the club had a problem with it. No, no, oh, they did that shit for money. Yeah, That's so they sent the, they they released the footage. Yeah. But hear me out though. What I'm trying to say is the footage of him with the pipe with the with the blower. It was it was in the club. He was in the club. He did the Facetime shit. That's where it got first seen the Facetime. But then the club put out a whole video of him getting well, twerked on whole money. We were talking about how much money he done thrown. Yeah. But then said how, how polite he was and cool with everybody. Like, but what was the point of putting you that out You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, that, that no make an No athlete or nobody with uh, notoriety should go ever in that club. Ever again. And, you know we, and we not even gonna say the club. club. We ain't gonna say that. Jalen Rose said it in his interview, because Jalen Rose said it with his interview with John Morant, said yeah. that he was in the club. He went to the club before when he played up there. 
Yeah, man. So, I, don't, I, don't, I think that they really, man, just did that to the young man, really just to. to he been just. just he been. He been. He been. Yeah, he to been let him know. He was just too few. Yeah, too fight, yeah, yeah. though. No. Yeah. Try to humble him down. Yeah. You know Save him a little money. Like, yeah, yeah. we were going to give you the match, but you, you know, messed up last and year. Yeah, now. Yeah. Some kind of bonus they were trying to keep him from getting probably. Ain't no telling, man. It's they, all good. They do stuff like that. It's all so good. Tell, you really be watching sports and into it, though. I do it. Look, man, playoff. Oh, to you play off stuff. Okay. Like I ain't. I mean, I like. I mean, I, that's why I'm so happy. I'm, I'm flattered you invited me here. Like I'm some kind of sports boy. <laughs> yeah, know. no, no. Nah, I just know. I know when we were talking about Jordan. Well, I know you don't want to hear about it. We, when me, we knew Jordan was gonna win the championship. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah. Enjoy the time, man. It's cool. Enjoy I was in Alabama. Time. I don't give a fuck. You don't want Alabama to win nothing. But that rivalry, because you know they he went to Auburn University. Game. They can go 10 and 0, 11 and 0, but in November, late November, when they play Auburn, <laughs> I want, bro, we got to beat their ass. Who your favorite Auburn player of all time? That's a good ass question, boy. Got to be Cam Newman. Nah, hell no. Nah. Bo uh, Jackson. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. I played with that nigga. Damn. Nah, uh, probably be shit. Bo Jackson, that's a good Carlos one. Carlos Dansby. I don't even know him. Oh, nah, linebacker who played with the Cardinals. Oh, yeah. Junior Rose Green. Don't know nah, I don't know him, though. And see, that's some real hitting ass niggas out there. Yeah. Carl oh, Dan's play linebacker. Yeah. Junior Rose Green played safety. Damn, I played safety and linebacker, so that's who the niggas I was watching. You know what I'm saying? Back in 2009, yeah. you had the old, old film. You barely could see that shit. Yeah. Hey, was Cam Newton dressed like that when y'all was in college? Nah, college, you know, we all had on the Auburn fits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Big when you first started seeing them wear them different fit, what'd you like? I'm not surprised, because that's how oh. the nigga was out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He show his emotions and shit. He, you know, loud or whatever you want to call it, but... Man, you know Cam was a dog at West Lake, man. Yeah, yeah. That nigga was a dog at Blinn. Cam was a dog where he, he went. went. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everywhere he he went. was a dog when he was in the league. Yeah. Till they made him not win the Super Bowl. I ain't no damn way hey, them would beat them that year. Now. Don't make him not win. That nigga had that ball sitting right there on that ground. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that. I just Bro, talked about that shit. He could have picked that motherfucker. I ain't no damn I know way. Yeah, he could have scooped it and ran a little bit. <laughs> I was like, what are you, what you doing, bro? You what bet, you you bet it with that nigga that game. Nah, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Hey. We gonna bleep that out. We, we, yeah. nah. we gonna bleep that out. That was nah. me. You were talking to me. That, that was my to teammate me. in college. You know what I'm saying? So you just wanted to win. I wanted win. him to win. Yeah, you know what's what up? What's up? Yeah. Till what's the most you ever lost on the game? Man, Falcon Super Bowl, man. Probably. Against the Patriots? Ooh. Yeah. Hey, now let me ask you probably this. About 35,000. At halftime. Same way I asked one of the Jalen Collins. Yeah, I how, took how, more how, you, how you felt at halftime? What your feeling was? Man, listen, bro. I'll never forget. Me, Andre 3000. I remember it was probably pictured it. Me, Andre 3000, Jesus, Ludacris, Lil John, I think JD. We were all in this one area. We were celebrating. And already, we were talking about the parade. We were talking about who gonna be on the float. And I was like, man, I'm gonna get my own float, bro. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go have my own float. For the, parade. the float so, situation. Hey, man, I'm talking about we had already made big, 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 big plans, man. They fucked that up for us. Damn, so it was hey, just a bunch of legends over there crying. Y'all be sad as hell. Nah, I wasn't crying. I would count money out. I mean, I'm counting that money. I'm had to pay somebody. <laughs> Bro, you know. that Atlanta parade would have lasted about a month or two. <laughs> we oh, been bro. Going. We just yeah, going. We don't even give a fuck about no more the rest of the NFL season. We got this motherfucker. When we ever win anything. Because the Braves, we, yeah, we can't count. Braves, I can't even want to celebrate the Braves. Anything. Well, you don't never know, man. You know what I'm saying? I think Falcons got a better chance than the Hawks. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know, bro. They both got damn, you know what I'm saying, had equal opportunity to fuck it up every year. <laughs> every year they got there, take turns. But, you know, they be looking good, though. They had them like that. Like, for instance, Hawks surprised me winning winning uh, in, the, in the motherfucking first round of the playoffs against the... Uh, Against Boston, just winning the game. Oh, you ain't, you ain't <laughs> see them winning the game. I, I, I mean, they didn't either. They had that book, the Janet Jackson concert. <laughs> they didn't see that shit either. Hey, stay warm, like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we done double book. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas threw the iPad down. These niggas don't want a game. <laughs> they call a Trey Young, what you doing, bro? 
I'm bringing it back to the city. No, no, no. <laughs> we got shit going on. <laughs> the owner called, now you fucking up my money. <laughs> but nah, I, like, I feel like it just, but like, I ain't gonna say, I be going to other arenas and stuff, like, they have more, you know, team pride and stuff, but it be a real party at them Falcons and Hawks games. Yeah. I mean, they really, really want to win. Like, it's a lot of people that really, really want, like, the people, not just the people who, you know, the, the fans and the supporters of the city. I, you know, am, am fortunate enough to happen to actually know the owner, the owner and the executive staff. Tony Wrestler want to win. You dig what I'm saying? Like, he ain't bullshitting. And, you know, and he putting people in position and making plays, connecting dots for him to actually try and bring a championship home. You know, just other team, they doing the same thing at the same time, and that shit yeah. kind of working against them from time to time. Bro, but with Atlanta being how Atlanta is, you would think more players would want to come. Nah, well, yeah, well, but... Well, they kind of know that they It's different when y'all come, we know when you come playing in Atlanta, bro, compared to when the Raiders in Oakland or playing in fucking Green Bay or something. So what's the difference? Tell them, we need nigga, to know. Nigga, that shit lit. Instead of you see, <laughs> looking at the stands, seeing niggas turned that way, lit as fuck, high-fiving, drunk as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Oakland, them niggas talking shit. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? They looking at the field talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Buffalo, they right there on your ass. Right yeah. there, Baltimore, same thing. You can hear the fan talking crazy instead of in the A, but you literally, I see my sister. I see my sister up in there, her back turned, turned up like, yeah. this nigga ain't paying attention. She know about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, they ain't watching so the game. So we just had the energy and the attention be more on the culture than it do. Be yeah, on. which is cool, yeah. which is cool if you if you a fan going to I the game. I never thought about that. I but as a player, I know that. me for myself, it's like, I done been where, where you know what I'm saying? You get that fourth quarter crowd pumping, that bitch get loud oh, and rocking for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they be playing in love. Falcon fans, we can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, Big Teddy be over there trying his ass off. Right? No, <laughs> like nothing. That. Yeah, it's but over with. If they ever allow hookahs in that motherfucker, <laughs> y'all can forget it. <laughs> Hey, they gonna start walking out. <laughs> you gonna see names on the list. Hell no. But bro. nah, it, it's a different type of feel. Yeah, Who's even else? in New Orleans, like even though it parted down there, they still be at the game. And lit, oh no, and pay attention bro, to bro, the game. Them New Orleans fans, yeah. I, they, when they get to saying that, who that? Like who they be loud. Like, I never thought about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As a player coming here, like what would you know? What would deter a actual player, a player from actually coming here? I mean, most people probably, they're going to want the money and they're going to want to win. Well, then you want to be around the atmosphere. Nah, the money, so you can get the money here. Yeah. But then, shit, that's when it's going to boil down to the other two things, yeah. winning and what the atmosphere like, what the organization. The atmosphere? See, y'all already built it in the city, though. It's already yeah. implemented in the city that party first. And yeah. yeah, we if we win, we win, we lose, fuck, Everybody. we're going to party some more. You know nigga wanna win, but nigga wanna party. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's the <laughs> thing. Buffalo. Cause nigga gonna party regardless. Whether you win or lose. But see, Buffalo we wanna sign away. They party in hours before the game. They gonna be at the game lit. Then they gonna smash tables and shit afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's you know how the white people get down. Who your, who your, like, favorite team? Like, like not no team that you done played on. Like, favorite team of all time. Like, you. I ain't, I you ain't never have favorite have... player. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, for a while, I was watching Philly, because Brian Dawkins. That was my favorite player. Brian Dawkins, yeah. safety. For sure. That makes sense. Rap, you grew up in Memphis. Who were some, some rappers you grew up listening to? Well, not really the usual. Ball and G, Pat, 3-6, uh, You Kia Memphis. Shine. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, all, now we got all the new, new nigga, Big Homie G. You know what I'm saying? Finesse. So all you listen to in Memphis, nigga? Not all the time, nah. No. Oh, that's all you just named? You, you, you mentioned you and Gabe just put out a song. <laughs> Matter of fact, active. I no, fucked no, no. it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you mentioned, you say, so you grew up in Memphis. You grew, It kind of let fast sound like you were leading into. Well, the Memphis. Yeah, the Memphis. So I'm talking about Don Tripp. I'm going to be down the road. Oh, I like Don Tripp, too, now. Hey, man, he would have been a fucked up ass nigga if he'd have started naming some other niggas the way you asked that question. You talking about Memphis shit? I thought I was talking about New York. Oh, you say no more? Yeah, nah, come on, bro. I got to talk about <laughs> that nigga first answer, they hear Ja Rule? <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> they much an eight ball of MJG, you grow up on that nigga, I'm gonna have a fit. Yeah, bro, so yeah, 
I, I'm a, I'm always tuning up and listening to Memphis shit, especially you know we hitting the Memphis coming way. like a motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah they having they run. Why they kept, they always been got down in the mix. Just I never had nobody get off. I feel like because it was always Man. like one at a time though. Juicy J been getting off for decades. Yeah, but then it was a, it was only Juicy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else that made got it city, then God it finally yeah, made then brought back off for decades. On, and then niggas started catching up and playing. You know what I'm saying? Making their own shit. Then you know we got shites to get locked up. We got a couple niggas do their thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, Memphis go Memphis now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they hot outside in the city right yeah. now. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them niggas, them niggas be rapping how they living. I tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> you got them shit. Hey man, Project Pat, the goddamn the king of that shit, right. man. Yeah, that might tell Project Pat, man, one of my favorites, man. Yeah, yeah. You, Pat you, tell you, you fuck Project Pat? Yeah, yeah, man. I used yeah, to yeah, yeah, I fuck with Project Pat. Yeah. Just when I, y'all ain't had no, y'all ain't make no music together. Man, I don't know why, bro. I don't know why. It ain't never, it ain't really. It ain't never been no, it just been. How yeah. that work, like when you want to make music with another nigga? Man, it's different. You usually, well, if you on a record label, you just go to an A&R, somebody who you like, hey, man, I want to get them on their record, then they'll call their A&R. But, you know, now I, I, I really just like do record with people that I got personal relationship with. You know what I'm saying? If I can't call you or call somebody who I know can call you, then I, it probably ain't gonna work. Unless you reach out to me somehow. Yeah. So how you and Gates linked up on that act? Man, Gates, man, man, Gates been my Gates, Gates been a personal partner for a minute. Um, when he first started coming to Atlanta, he started being managed by um my partner, uh, Doug, Doug Peterson. Um, and he was working over at Doug and them studio. <laughs> And so I spent a lot of time around Gates. And then uh, later, like right now in recent history, Gates started spending a lot of time working out of my studio. And so I just called him one day. He was in my studio. He was like, yo, man, let's do something. And we just met up yeah. over there one night, went through some beats, and just did that shit. Hell, that's that's yeah. one Gates, my favorite rapper. For real? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, ever? Oh, yeah, yeah, ever. The first time oh, I heard Kevin yeah. Gates, it was on a Dobie song. Him and Dobie, Dobie. did a song together. Man, and that was, that was probably that was Yeah, and that when I heard, I was like, oh, like okay. That was like 2014, nah, 2013. 2013, right now. Turned me on to so many niggas, man. Dobie turned me on to uh, Money Man. Dobie turned me on to. Uh, uh, my man from Memphis, uh, uh, signed for this. Yeah, two, uh, yeah. Um, nah. Are you talking about the nigga that signed? Moneybag. Moneybag, yeah, yo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Moneybag. Uh, Dobie turned me on to, uh, man, there's a bunch of motherfuckers out this, uh, 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 this app right now. And Dobie was like, man, these niggas gonna be hard. And he knew they was on the one. He, he had an iPhone. And they were real oh, on the yeah. at the time. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. one or two songs. And Dobie would tell me, man, these niggas gonna be tight. Just keep listening. And them niggas blew the fuck up, too. All of uh, them. Damn. Who, who, who a rapper you wish you would've made, made some music with, like, you regret? Mm. Tupac. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know, man, bro. It's a lot of motherfuckers, man. It's a lot of motherfuckers that I just, you know, I wish uh, I'd have did more with, man. Um, I wish I would've did more with Pimp C. I got some records with Pimp, but I just wish we would have just locked in and did it. Yeah, just sat down. You know yeah. Saying? I wish I would have like did like a whole project with him or something. You know, back, you know, like, you know, right after he died, niggas started doing like mixtapes, like albums. So I just wish I would have got in and locked in with him and did like a whole project with him. You know what I mean? Shit. Uh Dolph. I wish I would have did more with Dolph. Hey. Um <coughs> Shit, it's a gang of motherfucker, bro. You know, like that. I, I know I, I had listened to Dolph before he died. Like I would listen to Dolph music, yep. but after he died, like you go back, I'm like, but Dolph used to talk that shit. He just said yeah. blue magic. Yeah, but I'm saying like, you know how Dolph, you listen, man. you start listening different, like with it, like damn, yeah. bro, talking yeah. that shit on him, motherfucker. Been talking that shit. Yeah. Back in the day. I wish I would have liked it. Like Nipsey, man, Nipsey was, he was a cold piece, man. Uh, me and Nip would sit up all night, talk shit. Uh, back in our lean drinking day, we'd be sipping and smoking and just kicking it. And, and we pulled to be doing music. And here it is by five in the morning. We ain't did no music. And then he'll be, like, he'll be done dozed off. I'd be like, man, I'm finna go. We ain't getting no song. I got songs, like several songs, mm -hmm. where we done started and didn't finish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Uh, so I wish we would have got a chance to do more, you know what I'm saying, more work together. Um, man, it's a lot. Dobie, man, Dobie is probably yeah. that. I, my, man, I, I think I took my heart out of music when Dobie died. Like, that shit just became like, man, fuck it. I was in Alabama, too, when he started blowing up. Man. Oh, yeah, he was at Arm around Arbor, that time. Arbor, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, it was snappy, I just knew bro. that was it. You know what I'm saying? I just knew I could, could not just because of his talent, but because of his demeanor and his mindset, mm -hmm. how he he wanted to listen. You know what I'm saying? You know, most motherfuckers, especially when they tight, especially when they know they dope. Yeah. They like, ain't man, really too much you can tell. Yeah. I don't want to hear that shit, man. But he knew he was dope and. He wanted to know the right way to do it. He wanted, well, what you think, big bro? Well, I'm going rock, to rock it with y'all, whatever y'all say, you know. And, you know, just to see him be at the point where it would hit turn and he was man, thinking, oh, was, oh, man. And that shit to get clipped from him like that, that shit was fucked up. But, and so, we, you know what I'm saying, we move on. What about you, man? Who were some people that you wish you would have worked with in comedy? In comedy? Yeah. Shit, Jamie Foxx. I want. I want to work with Jamie Foxx. Right. I, you I, said that. Well, you know, like, you know, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Don't fuck up. Shit, bro. Yeah. No. It's not. Oh shit. God. No. Damn, nigga. I, I, I. We said we wish, like you know what I'm saying, like you said, wish you could have done. Damn. Alright, you right. You right, you right Andrew. Alright. Um. <laughs> Y'all nigga hell, man. <laughs> Robin Harris, for oh, sure. Man, okay, no. okay. The dad from uh, House Party, you know, Baby Kid. I, I, Robin Harris, I, I put him like like number one type shit. Okay. Cause like, I feel like how you was just talking about Dope B, I feel like Robin Harris, he was like, right when he was finna make that break. Yeah. Like they were finna get him all kind of shows, yeah. he had specials yeah. coming up, and then like, damn. How yeah. you that? They said, uh, was it heart attack? Yeah, I think it was heart attack. Yeah, so. they say he was eating like how he was eating and shit. That, like Patrice O'Neal. Yeah, that why yeah. I be so. That what made me go vegan. I said, bro, I got <laughs> to. <laughs> this nigga ain't this vegan shit, but this nigga shit going to die. This vegan shit on the rock. Oh, wow. <laughs> Health is wealth. You nigga gotta start <laughs> taking care of it. Hey, this nigga in this vegan shit had my podcast going crazy. I'm talking about that was the first video that went viral, nigga. I'm talking about today it's still doing like 10 million. Bro, you was doing a podcast while you was still in the league, like like yeah. having a game. One, one or two players, nigga. After the game, nigga, it was Sunday, I had a podcast. That's hard. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm glad y'all niggas stayed down with that shit, because I couldn't do it. I know you couldn't. I, I, couldn't asked, do I seen your shit come off the goddamn iTunes. What the fuck this nigga doing? There wasn't no money in it. I couldn't find the paper. Nah, no, see, see, that's what I learned, bro. I learned, I learned, money, bro. Money, I learned that, hey, that shit like, nigga, told, nigga no, that was in the game. It's a thing, slow though. grind. I take that back. It was some money, but the money wasn't worth the the, the bullshit nah, that came with it. I you don't know, know how you ran it, Everything a nigga though. say in the, in the motherfucking podcast become a headline, and oh, okay. everybody want to... That's it, it, it it you, too see. Much, nigga. I, can, I can say what the fuck I want to half the time. Exactly, but that <laughs> shit wasn't worth the money. These little tens of thousands of dollars are not worth... All of the bullshit that it come with. Beach type shit. Yeah, but, but see, like, I see, yeah. my piece is priceless. The interviews you were having on your podcast, it was like people that we wanted to hear. were like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, that Master P one, I fuck with that Master P one off top. You had Alex Jones, Jones on your shit. Yeah, P a cold motherfucker. Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah, oh, I ain't see that one. Yeah, yeah, Who yeah, Alex Jones? Yeah, then the white boy I don't nobody like. Yeah, he was talking good. Conspiracy and, shit, shit, shit. Oh, you had what's the name early? Who that? My boy who died. Uh, Kevin Samuel. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Samuel. That my, hey, that my partner, man. Oh, gee. Goo goo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, minister man, himself. That spin that shit, man. <laughs> Man, they assassinated that man way before his time, man. You know. Nigga, I don't want him to go to the crime. Oh, no. Go, Jesus. Not the minister. <laughs> yeah, see, they gonna goddamn make that a headline. Just what, man? That's why the nigga called me in here, because he know this shit. Just what? That's why he called me in here. We, we cool. need it, man. You had a question that? Yeah, I had a question. Talking to Mike, man. <laughs> I had a question
Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. That was a, that was a dope time. The Josh Smith, Joe Johnson, like that was a dope time in Atlanta sport because I actually like knew the players. You know what I'm saying? Me and Josh been cool for real, so it was cool. And also the the Mike Vick era because you know I actually went to Vick house like after I used to go to Vick house after the, before he got in trouble. <laughs> Shit. Be <laughs> careful. Hey, 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 all we got. <laughs> shit. But yeah, so we used to actually kick it and shit, man. You know, I used to get his shoe before they dropped and had a whole bunch of signed memorabilia and shit like that. So, like, that was a dope time. But as a fan, like, before I actually got into a place, a position where I actually knew the players personally, I got to go Andre Rise and Dion Sanders. Oh, that found. You know what I'm saying? What, that 94? Uh, was it 92, 93? Not Whenever it was, it was when Dion got them. Early 90s. Early 90s. He ran back to touchdown and hit the home run mm -hmm. in the same Oh, game. he was with the Braves. Yeah, when he was with the Braves and the Falcons. Yeah. Dion was that, a bad that, one. That was a phenomenal moment to me. To be able to bear witness, man, as a kid. I cut school go to that to go to that Braves parade. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had a question for him too? Yeah. Hey, bro, before you answer the question, tell, I'm telling you, they what they they using me. This, this gonna be this nigga's show. Bro, this nigga, he got, he got degrees in this shit. This nigga just, he gonna go show them the show. Mm. See, this what I'm, I'm showing you the template. Yeah. But I got the shit. The nigga just using me, bro. Look how he asked the question to professor. Why you went to me that shit? Bro, I'm asking a father. I'm asking all these regular the nigga questions. The on him, yeah. You see, uh, turn that shit down. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. But shit, as I'm, I mean, as uh, when I first started out the podcast, and uh, that was almost three years ago, so I was in uh, like my eighth year. So you know, what I'm saying it, the podcast wasn't blowing up yet. You know, what I'm saying, but I was still putting that work in and recording and shit. And it wasn't really till, like I said, after this nigga came on, like the clip started probably like a year later. So we did that the episode two years ago, and I ain't start peeping like. We took a took a break. You know, when, uh, this past season, I didn't play, so you know, so now basically after my career, so it been it would have been year ten. So since I didn't play, it was like just pushing the podcast, making the clips on YouTube. That's when YouTube started the shorts. We just started trying to see what that's like. TikTok, we started seeing what that's like. And then we had that one clip go viral, and people started catching on to it. So then I, I didn't know it until. New Year's, I go to Arizona, and then I'm talking about I'm walking in the club, niggas just pace, oh shit, what's up, war room, nigga, da da da. I'm in LA, same thing, oh, war room, nigga, are you the nigga? Cause niggas don't room. be knowing, cause y'all keep y'all helmets on, so That's most niggas. So now yeah. it's like they put, put a face with the name, and uh -huh. now, oh, that is that football nigga right there, nigga, but be on the YouTube and that shit, so I'm talking about New York, Miami, it don't matter, like, so that's when I start peeping, but. I like that now, you know, recognize more folk for the podcast because this is just another journey. Like, you get recognized for being a football player since I was in fucking fourth grade, almost, you know, especially high school. So now you get to a point where I, I, I've been recognized as a football player and I, I try my thing at, at this podcast shit, some shit that we not known to go into, especially media. You, you're supposed to need all this training and you got to talk this certain way, you know, and I had a vision like, now nah, I, I can do it like this and people will fuck with it. So like, boom, I'm gonna dive in there. So now I got, you know what I'm saying, people, you know what I'm saying, uh, showing me love outside of, outside of Tennessee in itself. You know what I'm saying, all the way across the country, literally outside the country, you know what I'm saying, we get emails, we get it. So like, that shit for me, just, just, just the same as playing football, you know what I'm saying, got that love and that. So now I'm in this journey, being recognized as a podcaster, YouTuber, you know what I'm saying, I'm all for that. And that shit love, like, uh, a person like A.J. Brown to come back and, you know, do your you show. Me, then. It ain't like, it's like he said, I, I don't reach out. To, like, then the nigga you see that came on the part, it ain't no me like me, like, reaching too far, like, I got to send a nigga a DM. Mm -hmm. It ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's A.J. FaceTiming me today. I'm finna be in the city, bro. I'm pulling up on you. And I that's got, love. I got some receipts. All right, man, come on. That's come what on, I'm bro. trying to tell yeah. them. The people, they been reaching. I said, bro, let me get the people that fuck with me yes, on the show. Exactly. Because the people that been turning me down, like, bro, <laughs> it's not because of me, because of them reaching out. <laughs> I said, who the fuck told me no? I 
ain't even put it on there. I put it on sometimes. Some people didn't. Tim, know. if you hit a nigga, man. Pee Wee Herman said no, nigga. Hey, we won't pee. I was looking around, I said, what? A little scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought. Y'all just gave me something. <laughs> Damn, I'm sure Scrappy would have loved to do your show. Nah, with. nah. Before I'm then, now I'm sure he probably ain't gonna wanna fuck with you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're gonna keep it in there. That was gonna break. Now, nah, when, when I said that on the early episode, Scrappy, that, that was just to bait you in. Nigga, we had to get you in here. But no. Nah, but now sure. everybody asked, go get Derek Henry. I'll get, like, I didn't keep this, like, been, me and Derek Henry just had Thanksgiving last, this past year, to, you know what I'm saying, together. I'm going to say it one time. I ain't finna be like, hey, I'm going to text you now. Hey, remember? Nah, look, are hey, you trying to do the podcast? But just let me know whenever but you But do Derrick here really talk? <laughs> yeah, he talk. Because, you know, some of them football players who just so good. Nah, nah, he ain't been on. If you have a conversation with him. You got to know Oh, them niggas, niggas can't talk worth shit. Nah, mm-hmm. he been on He been on busting with the boys, uh, the one our teammate, Will Conn, Taylor Warren, they podcast. Oh, okay. That, you know that lineman, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But see, I feel like sometimes niggas be... T- no, no one they come on my shit. the exact opposite, though. What you, you get in conversation with uh, some of these, uh, uh, like, linemen, linebackers. <laughs> you get to get see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. These motherfuckers talk for some sure. shit. That yeah, Derrick Henry a running back, though. <laughs> that nigga took a lot of hit. That nigga. <laughs> 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 That impressed me with some with some, with some of their intellect, man. Who, like, who was the, the the one? Not I know you don't met a lot of athletes. I know Michael Jordan for sure. Cause I saw you and uh, Long Little Clay. I saw you and Clay had a picture with Michael yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. So I know that it's hard to top that. But who's somebody you been around? Like, damn, I'm really around this nigga. Shit, Shaq. Shaq, LeBron. bro, you probably the, you probably the third person to say that. Shaq, LeBron, motherfucker. Oxy LeBron. Yeah, with LeBron, man. LeBron, rookie year in the in the uh rookie year in the in the, in the NBA, mm-hmm. he called us to come do some kind of some shit he was doing in Akron, Ohio. Right. And he called us to do like the halftime, perform for the kid, like I, it's some kind of basketball tournament he was doing. Mm-hmm. That shit was lit, bro. I'm talking about he had probably about. 50,000 motherfuckers of the park, you know what I'm saying? To see on to see some 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 street ball shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh who else, man? Shit, man. Deion Sanders, motherfucking. Man, we done been around shit. Everybody we wanted to be around. Goddamn, Charles Barkley, Charles Oakley. Uh we done been around everybody we wanted to be around. Yeah. Shit, it don't get no bigger kicking at that Vic house and Vic Prime. Yeah. Like, bro, just kicking no, shit. To the city, for real. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Took him out, showed him the city a little bit. We did a little bit. Cause look, bro, no, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta think, around the time Vic come in, that's when you taking off too. Yeah. That's when like Atlanta really getting them eyes on the rap mm-hmm. shit. Like, when I say the rap shit, like. You know we were having fun, cause we both went to jail. <laughs> 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 yeah, you you went we a few a you, you went a few times <laughs> you went a few times doing yeah, big stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. hey, that's how you knew you were different, bro. Like niggas had a prime. You had like three, four primes when you went to jail and still came back <laughs> like it wasn't nothing. I had I had I had some shit I couldn't shake, man. <laughs> I was really that, man, I was fucked up in the head, bro. See, you had a daddy, nigga, you see what I'm saying, man? Motherfucker. <laughs> hey, nigga, nigga, I don't listen to still ain't forgetting myself, feel like you going to say shit to him. My daddy right in the other room. <laughs> don't hate me, Charlie. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. Nah, man. It was like that for real, though. But nah, that, that was a different time in the city. Marcel, you had a question for him? This year? Come on, this year? Yeah, this year, yeah. Man, um, man, just to be honest with you, bro. I think any of these teams, I wouldn't be shocked to see any of them go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, however, I think it would be very cool to see. Before I say that, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with LeBron and the Lakers just because I'm a LeBron James fan. I'm gonna always be a LeBron. Bye, James baby. Fan. I'm gonna always be a LeBron James fan. I'm gonna tell you why. The last Mother's Day my grandmama was alive, 
LeBron came to my grandmama house and sat on my front porch, right on Bankhead, ate barbecue, kicked it with me, my grandmama, and all my, all my cousins and shit. Right before they went and kicked the Hawks' ass and went on to the <laughs> went on to the goddamn Eastern Conference Final, and then that 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 and that's the year she died. So, but she always asked me, "Where that tall fella you had?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, shout out to LeBron James, that man, a real yeah, nigga, bro. Shout out to a nigga need to know. Yeah, LeBron came to Bankhead, man. Billionaire, yeah. king it on Bankhead. He wasn't a billionaire at the time, but he he still left a little bit. Yeah. Of that, he left for that residue. He left that billionaire residue. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm always be a LeBron fan. So I, I, I'm gonna take the Lakers, but it would be dope to see Chris Paul get one with the Suns. Man, yeah. You know what I mean, and K, I, I like KD too, bro. I, I like yeah. KD. I like CP3. And I like the East. Old... I would say, goddamn Boston or either uh, the Sixers. Yeah, you know Jalen Brown from Atlanta. Word. Yeah. Okay. He need to bring his ass to Atlanta and do some work hey, down here. Yeah, he, 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 he coming up on a cool contract. <laughs> I've been talking to him. He, he, You've been talking to him? He definitely well, ain't coming. <laughs> <laughs> who, you, who you got, Bates, winning it all? Because I mean, Memphis out. You were going with Memphis winning. Well, yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, bro, how you feel when Dylan Brooks said he was going to lock LeBron up? Mm. So this is my thing, bro. If you gonna play that type of role, if you gonna be that asshole ass, like I don't give a fuck, you gotta be that. Yeah. You gotta do that shit. I'm talking about just be the asshole. Don't don't walk out of the, the media room. And, and don't wanna talk and to don't people, yeah. Talk. Like stand up, like, yeah, 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 it's LeBron. Yeah. Fuck y'all thing, yeah. You I'm gonna do up. it. You yeah, gonna do I'm it. Fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But live that role, like play that. If you Tip, they talking about like, not even bringing them back to the team. Uh, they talking about he ain't bringing them back. <laughs> <laughs> talking about. But that's the thing, though. I ain't... And he probably ain't going nowhere. LeBron will pick him up. LeBron like that. Do. LeBron play mind games, bro. But, you think LeBron will hate a nigga? He'll come bring you on the team. But you remember why nigga? People uh, think they, why people keep on saying Stevenson. that he ain't gonna be in the NBA? Like, like he, he didn't like Stevenson used to do little shit. Know him before this. I mean, he only been with the, with the Grizzlies. What well, came out of Oregon, I believe. I mean, that's like his third year, ain't it? Nah, fourth. So it would be a fifth year, so yeah, that's why. But Tim, he, he, he had like straight little he games. Straight. He not no bad no, player. No playoffs, he just but nigga, that, now that, he got the miles on him. Like, but, but his attention, but his attention came from talking. With him and Draymond and all this. Yeah, yeah. But he had lock up defense, you know what I'm saying? He was always guarding the best player. Shot selection. And nigga left trash. the key under the map for LeBron. <laughs> 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 It was over, then that shit started happening. It was like, you know, but you ain't got nobody. So you remember my only? Team. I want LeBron to get a ring. Yeah, I, I don't care about CP3 getting a fucking ring. Damn. Uh, that ain't, uh, ain't my type of my player. Damn. You like LeBron though? Yeah, I like LeBron. I like his game. You Bro, that when I knew I was too invested, I used to sit there and argue all day about LeBron. I'm like, bro. Shut the fuck up, man. He's a cold. Bro, but it's like, bro, they hate on him so much. The man don't get in trouble. Like, what y'all got against him? I don't mind seeing the Knicks win, though. I like Julius Randle. The Knicks win? Fuck. I I just like Julius Randle. That's the last thing I need for New York to win anything. (laughs) New York win something, you won't hear the rest of that shit, bro. (laughs) It'll be Greg going in the clouds, nigga, if the Knicks win a ring, man. (laughs) I mean, that'll be something to be, to say that the Knicks won a ring in our lifetime. Them to win one for the Hawks. That shit'll really be fucked up. <laughs> bro, you you wouldn't be able to tell them nothing. Nah, but man, if they get it, they go, man. I love to see that kind of shit. They can get it, let's say go for it, man. Yeah. But nah, man, I appreciate y'all pushing up. We done had a had a good talk, appreciate man. I, appreciate I got one black question. What? Why the fuck Black Mike got on 32? Oh no, nah, that air that error joint. The <laughs> Why the fuck I'm is Jay got it? I seen that bitch when I was in the room back then. I said, boy, what damn, the fuck? They, they're right here. Why he great? <laughs> what the he, fuck? He error Jordan. Error Jordan. <laughs> Man, y'all tripping like a motherfucker. They they took the first episode he now, so. Like big logo on that bitch. <laughs> Jordan. Hey, that nigga got some shacks on. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, that my, that one, I don't have a guess he be the co-host. He be, he be, on, he be on the dial for me, man. But no, nah, man, that's Aero Jordan. That be like when we do our little prize picks, our little parlays and stuff, we 
Like, rub. You rub off. Yeah, for good luck. You don't pause that because you just about, never mind. Yeah, like, nah, you don't pause that. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 I'm you right. I'm trying to help you out. Same as the with the Apollo. What they wrote, what they call that? That was a, that was nah, a, a tree stump. I ain't going to fish ain't bite. You trying to get to that All right, Paul. No, it's not. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 You, you give him a little doubt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this has been another episode of Broken Play. Man, make sure y'all check out Darren Bates' Raw Room Podcast. Oh, yeah. And check out Tilt. Tilt, what you doing? You rapping, comedian? Man, you do it all. You do it all. Come to Trap City Cafe, man. Come to Trap Music Museum. Uh, check out Departments, man, when it drop. You know what I'm saying? Gonna be funny here. One of the funniest no, movies. That, that is no cap on that. Yeah, ain't nothing. Hey, man, I'm talking about ain't no exaggeration, bro. It's gonna be one of the funniest movies that we've seen in our lifetimes. And, and who directed that motherfucker, man? Uh, man, you're truly, man. I had him the man right, direct, finance, and you know. Hey, he, he, he paid him, too. I, I, can, <laughs> hey, I can't talk nothing bad about the nigga, man. And co-produced with, you know, of course, with the 85 South. For uh, sure. Uh, production company, man. So, you know, us, for us, by us, you know what I mean? We cast it all our partners. You know what I'm saying? The only movie that he didn't get cut out of, you know, in the editing room flow. He did been in bigger movies, but back, he back, just ain't been in yeah. bigger movies. You but when it, when it dropped, they gonna be like, damn, we shouldn't have fucked that boy with what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, hey, y'all niggas done slept on me. Nah, man, but it's an it's a, it's a honor and a privilege to be able to, you know, put our best foot forward to do something for us, do something that we want to do and not have to go in nobody's office and ask them if we could tell our story. You know what I mean? And y'all boy did y'all thing, man. Y'all were funny as a motherfucker. Real shout, you know? man. Shout out to K Dub, J yeah. Ski, Carlos in there, DC, Erica Moneybag, Duchess. Erica Duchess, yeah. Ronnie Jordan, Tyler, Cro man, the nigga Ar Ar Henry Ernesto, Wilt. Henry Welt, R. P. Nard, Lil Duval. Yeah, yeah. Anybody, yeah, hey, yeah. only uh, a nigga Tokyo like that Jets, could bring. Tokyo Valley, oh VBS. yeah, can't forget the women. VBS, yeah, uh, King, Chinan, Myron, King, Damn, that and they had his I own son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, it's a fun ass flick, man. We gonna good we gonna, game, uncheat, bro. It, it, like I'm still, uh, Killer Mike was in there. That's yeah. a whole fucking cat, hey, boy. That's bro. A whole fucking and thing. the shit is funny, nonstop, top to bottom. Tip getting a lot of credit for directing, but that nigga be here tell them camera, just keep shooting it, keep shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> He let her do whatever, then he's like, hey, do everything y'all just did. <laughs> <laughs> we were rolling six hours, we don't remember that shit. <laughs> The funniest shit be when they don't know the camera on. It's a lot of it's scenes I got, they were just sitting there talking shit and didn't even know the camera was on. It's a lot of, you know, and I just had to make the story be around that, you know yeah. what I mean? And I think that's it's the authenticity that kind of brought it together so well. Yeah. I'm would you own a basketball team? Or uh, football? Would, would no. you own? Oh. <laughs> what? Man, well, I'ma pay all that money, man, and invest in something that I ain't even got no no hundred percent say so over. You feel me? You pay all that money. You pay all that money for something that you ain't even got no control over how you do it. Well, I, I told you man, I ain't good. Well, I just told you say shit. That's not for me. I'm just not Crazy the person for that. Shit, bro. No objection and nothing against whoever it is for. But my money come with instructions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> nigga, I need 40 <laughs> points. You know what I'm saying? I need, I, I need to say, I got some say so on that. <laughs> hey, so you Jared Jones, you on the court you when shit ain't going. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't like me. Y'all think more cute than a motherfucker. Y'all wouldn't like me, bro. Hell no. Hey, man. Make sure you subscribe and keep checking out Broken Play. Man, y'all clap it up for y'all sales coming up too, man. I'm now Green. Hopefully we'll be back next week. <laughs> you know, Tim will bring allegations and shit to the shit. Yeah, Tim was talking about fuck Mark Cuban. <laughs>